So to start off with, we've got a couple um, additions to World Inferno event rewards. And basically what they've done with those is that they added the Aspirant chest to the rank rewards. Looks like they're kind of trying to fast track at least the Aspirant chest and the Aspirant gear for the Aspirant gear. And then Invasion Rewards, they've added Radiant Chest to those. Always a good time when they toss around more Radiant Chest. <laughs> For the bulk of this, we have a new hero. He's a Flame Lord. We could take a sneak peek at him by going into our heroes. And you want to click on that All button. Eee, there we go. This is a good way to see what your heroes were regularly traded with and equipped with for runes, as well as take a look at their storyline. So with the Flame Lord, he was uh, initially traded or comes traded with infantry. He has a mighty, mighty baddie rune, <laughs> mighty battle rune, mighty baddie of adoration. And we could take a peek at what he is skilled in. And it looks like he's going to make a good defensive hero. Because he's traded in enemy troop attack, defense, and um, HP debuffs that are exclusive to the castle defense. His storyline's pretty sweet. He says, I will no longer remain silent. I will cast judgment upon evil with my blazing hands. And his hands aren't the only thing that are blazing. Check out his sword, his antlers, his cape. He is really cool looking. The Blazing Lord is an ancient being that existed even before the Firstborn were born into this world. He granted the power of fire to the Firstborn Tempest, ordered him to rule the world with justice. Tempest took an oath, but was tempted by the power of chaos and corrupted by that power and turned him into Infidus. So we have the birth story of Infidus along with him. The Blazing Lord watched the fall and was enraged by his betrayal and came to the world to punish Infidus and his army. That's pretty cool. That's super exciting. He's going to be available in the Dark Moon shop. I think I mentioned that prior to looking at him. If not, there we have it again. Also available in the Dark Moon shop is going to be the new pet now we saw a look a sneak peek of him with the 5.0 update a while ago we all kind of assumed he'd be a new hero um i guess it makes a lot more sense that seeing as it's a rabbit that it's indeed a new pet he's an immortal grade quality level 50 his name is mr lopin and he does additional damage to t1 and t2 troops as well as the deployable troop size increase now, the pendulum of the game swings back and forth between defense and attack, and that's with any and all strategic war games, or at least the good ones. Um, now, I think we just kind of came out of a defense pendulum swing, because not only was it incredibly, well, I don't want to say easy, but it wasn't difficult to defend, especially with the use of T1 and T2 troops to keep out of your meat, your heavier meat tiers, as well as come out ahead, well ahead on points as a defender. Um, but now with the changes to the PvP and the new gear, and now we're seeing, you know, new pets like this, um, we're more in the attack pendulum swing of this game. I think he is also one of the first that we see that'll do additional damage towards tier 3 troops. If you enhance him to plus 15, he's going to give a 5,000% damage bonus to tier 3. And again, he is going to be available in your Dark Moon shop. So you're going to want to make sure you hit all those events and get as many coins as you can, including the new Dark Moon, Dark Moon login event. I am tripping all over my words today. If you go into the forum and you want to take a look at your in-game events, we'll see the Dark Moon Celebration login event, and that is every day starting the 10th. So starting at reset tonight. Now we're going to get Dark Moon coins every day, we're going to get resources every day, and we're going to get these Antique Chest 2 chest. Well, maybe not resources every day, but we're going to get Dark Moon coins and these Antique Chest 2s. And it looks like it's going to kind of bounce back and forth between other goodies. 
You have to log in every day to get these, otherwise you're going to lose it. So if you log in on day one and you miss day two and you log in on day three, you will not get day two rewards. So make sure you are logging in. And as far as these Antique Chest 2, it does say the login event reward for Antique Chest 2 will be available for use after the 923 patch. So it's a hint that we have another patch coming in about two weeks and the special rewards will then be provided upon opening. So it looks like we probably won't be able to open up those chests until after that date. I'm excited to see you guys all in Dark Moon. We have Domination this weekend. I'd love to hear how you guys are doing with that. Remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Check out our website at www.ironthronelite.com. And until next time.